Hey there, in this video we will talk about Java path, how you can become a full stack Java developer and what are the things which you need to become a full stack Java developer, how to take the path, how to move forward in your learning to get there to become a good Java developer. So let's get started. So first of all, definitely you must understand and practice with core Java java basics right so that is the must all right then moving forward you should also understand collection framework the data structures which are present for example list array list set those kind of things then moving forward definitely multi-threading java generics lambda expressions are among very important topics which you should cover now friends, your skill to debug application, your skills to handle files are very important. So file handling and how to debug a software is again something you can and you should check out. All right. Now moving forward, let us talk about also JUnit. JUnit is a framework which will help you to debug your application. Furthermore, it will help you to test your application. So do try to check out JUnit again that will again help you out furthermore. Now, once you check out all those sort of things, definitely move forward and check out advanced Java, which is JSP and servlet. So check out JSP servlet and JSTL, try to understand the technology that will definitely help. Finally, move forward, try to understand Hibernate. Hibernate is important, how to connect with database, how to interact, how to create query, how to fire query, how to, how to handle data in fact. That is again important. Once you are familiar with all of these things, I will urge you to move forward to the Spring world. Spring framework is definitely the most popular framework out there for Java. Check out Spring Framework, Spring MVC, how to interact with the database using Spring MVC, how to connect, how to integrate Hibernate with Spring is again very interesting. So check that out. Once you are done with that, the next stop is RESTful APIs. Try to understand how to create web services, how to create APIs which can independently work how to create microservices, how to interact with different microservices. So that is again important. And finally, once you have done all those kind of things, start with Spring Boot. Spring Boot is the way to go. That's the most important thing, which is in trend, which is the most popular thing as of now. So definitely check that out. And once you cover all those stuff, Learning again new stuff will be fairly straightforward, fairly easy. There will be some small little changes and you will get it. And definitely you would be able to move forward in your career in IT industry and you will get there. All right. So these are the topics which are something which you should know, should understand. Now, before ending this video, Maven is again an important tool which you can and you should know about. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Chan signing off. Thanks for watching.